Guten Tag! Morning. <laughs> Morning. So today, uh, local again, up in the Avon Forest Park, formerly known as Avon Argoid. Just going to take a little loop, not far, probably about five or six miles, just up over the top, past the old uh, slag heap from the old mining. It was pretty prevalent in the area, as you can imagine, South Wales Valleys. Plenty of mining went on around here, so we'll take a trip up. I suppose I should apologise to everyone in the UK because I planned to walk today <laughs> and as usual the weather turns. So we've had probably a good week of solid sunshine in the UK and the day I come out is the day everything turns so I don't know what we're going to be looking at for views but if you have watched the channel before you're probably used to that. <laughs> You just have to get used to me rambling in front of the camera rather than showing you some pretty things. But, first thing we got to do, get up this steep hill. It is a short and sharp one. <laughs> Told it was short and sharp. We haven't really climbed that far, but we're already in the clouds. Don't say I don't treat 220 views. Like I said, the wonderful, historic Avon Valley. I promise, I promise one day I will do one of these walks when the weather's good. Like Owen said, I should change the, uh, the channel to Homes of Grey, because that's all I seem to attract for some reason. But the main thing is we're out and enjoying. So regardless of the weather, the if I'm going to teach you anything on this channel, is to get out no matter what. You've got a spare day, spare hour or two, get out. It doesn't matter. I'm not sure how well the camera will pick this up, but we're just coming along. It almost looks like a call in between the tips here. So you've got one there, two, three, four, I think there is a fifth one, but that's off in the mist. But when you consider the size of these, you'd have to think how much they dug out to create these man-made mountains. But I mean, that's what this area is probably most well known for in its history. Mining, coal mines, copper, tin, all came from this sort of area so this is what you get left with but it gives us something interesting to come and look at when we're on our walks So we've just passed the old official border between Neath and Maesteg, uh, boroughs, parishes, whatever they would have been called back in the day. So plan is now, head up here, over the top, find somewhere to sit down and have a, a cup of tea. I'll see you when I get there and get my breath back. This is uh, Fola Dufferin, just overlooking Maesteg probably just make it out in the, uh, in the low cloud so the summit is literally just there so we're gonna tuck ourselves in here have a little cup of tea so as usual tea duty the trusty MSR pocket rocket tool and the totes, 750, although realistically it's more like a 500 once you allow for the, uh, the rolling boil on it.
Oh, that didn't take long. That handle is warm. Need to get some pot grips, I think. Tea done. I'm a banging cup of tea of ours as well, to be fair. <laughs> it was uh, not a bad view. The sun is uh, is trying its hardest to uh, to peek out. It's go, isn't it? But I don't think we're going to get <laughs> anything spectacular. We probably will if we get back to the car. Oh yeah, it'll come out soon. As uh, soon as we get back. But it's pretty much all downhill from here. Got this nice little sort of uh, plateau along the top. We keep following there as far as the forest and then down the tracks back to Arvon Visitor Centre so if, if you know the area you know about the plethora of mountain bike trails they got up in this area all Arvon Forest then Korug up the valley it is an outstanding place to come if you uh, if you like mountain biking only issue is when you go in on a bike don't really get the chance to stop and have a look at this kind of stuff it's just absolutely stunning even with the the haze and low cloud we've got can't really fault it can you So, sun has finally made its appearance, so I think it's time to take this jacket off. And just like that, we're cool. I was getting a little bit warm in that jacket, I've got to say. It's a great rain jacket, it's the, uh, the Berghaus Deluge 2. It's the ventilated one with the zippers on the armpits and it's great for the price but it's not that breathable it's really really warm i don't know what he's like in his down jacket i'm nice and toasty <laughs> toasty <laughs> yeah toasty i think's the word <laughs> so the original plan was when we come over that gate there earlier <laughs> to head back down the citizens walk to the album visitor center but we've got a couple of hours spare before we've got to do anything so I'm gonna take you to a little spot and it's kind of a little secret little space off the path as long as this cloud stays away you should see some stunning views of the Avon Valley I am happy sun is really trying its hardest to come out but it's enough just to enough, take the edge off that I mean, we've had probably a week of 17, 18, 19 degrees in the UK and today he was forecast to be, I think, 10. And it don't feel anywhere close to that now with that sun out. That is beautiful. So we've just come off the main fire road down a little discreet path. You'd blink and miss it. But it brings you out into this little clear in here which it's got to be said it's not bad and have a look at this view I've got no idea why it's here i mean there's a bench it's fenced but it's just a random place so our plan now is head back down towards the visitor center if you ever head up this way i couldn't stress enough how much I have only scratched the surface because there are so many trails up here. Mark trails you can follow from the visitor centre. I think there's four altogether. 
uh, and they take you along like the the history of the place following like the railway lines through the valley and things like that and just all these type of things fire roads and just <laughs> everywhere you can literally take your pick you can spend hours and hours just getting lost up here This is the, uh, the last little feature we come to before getting to the visitor centre. Uh, old corn barn. I have stopped here a couple of times for a cup of tea. There's a few little places like this dotted around Arvon Valley. Especially along some of the mountain bike trails. So you can just about see the visitor centre. Probably only about half a mile to go. I'll give you a quick look round before we uh, we chuck everything in the car and leave because like everything up here it's definitely worth a visit So that's it, nice little loop walk, back at the visitor centre now, uh, like I've said before, it's definitely worth a trip up here, got a nice little visitor centre, cafe, play area for the kids, the Miners Museum itself, a lot of it is shut at the minute because it's midweek in March, but yeah weekends in the summer and it's definitely worth coming down. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed my little uh, jaunt around my uh, my local. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Really does mean a lot. I've got my target outfit in 500 if I can by the end of the year. So yeah, make sure you do. So until next time, cheers for watching. Say bye, Owen. Bye, Owen.